Hi, today we'll be making some chloroform. Disclaimer, I do not take any legal responsibility for anything you try to recreate in this video. This video was made for educational purposes only. Chloroform or trichloromethane is a methane with three chlorines and one hydrogen. Nowadays it doesn't have many uses, but it's occasionally used as a solvent in chemistry and can sometimes be found in medications. Chloroform used to be used as an anesthetic, but it was phased out by safer options. Here is a brave Russian man demonstrating the effects of chloroform. А сейчас мы проверим, действительно ли хлороформ усыпляет человека, как в фильмах. Не повторяйте этого дома. Вот, смочили тряпочку. То вот видите, ничего. And yes, chloroform does make you sleep, but it isn't this fast. It takes four to five minutes to have any real effect. Anyways, that's enough about what chloroform is used for. Let's talk about the chemistry. I will be making the chloroform through a reaction of sodium hypochlorite, which is the core ingredient in bleach and acetone. So it is important to note that an excess of sodium hypochlorite is needed in this reaction, otherwise it's difficult to separate azeotropal form. So anyways, I measure out 1.2 liters of 4.6% bleach, which you can find in the supermarket. Obviously, it's at a low concentration, but it's hard to find high concentration bleach here in Slovakia since we don't really use it. I add 17 milliliters of acetone to start the chloroform production. As you can see, it forms this white milky emulsion in the mix. It also forms a lot of heat, so I definitely recommend putting it into an ice bath or into a bath with cold water. I let the mixture react for about 24 hours away from direct sunlight to hopefully halt the production of phosgene gas. Once the mixture has fully reacted, we collect the chloroform which is the bottom layer with a separation funnel. I add some calcium chloride as a drying agent to remove any excess water that might be present in the flask. At this point we have reasonably clean chloroform, but we want it to be even better, so we set up a distillation apparatus. We discard everything under 60 degrees Celsius and we keep the 60 to 62 degrees Celsius fraction. Those white, milky fumes are our chloroform. We collect a few drops of nearly perfect chloroform. I transfer the chloroform to a small dark bottle for storage and stabilize it with a few drops of ethanol. I also add a little calcium chloride to the mix just for storage. I take a big whiff of the chloroform and it smells pretty nice and sweet. Uh, chloroform smells nice in general. Let's go! Chloroform baby, let's go! Thank you, thank you for watching the video. Thank you, guys, that's enough applause. Uh, listen, so I have HMDT planned. I also launched a Patreon because chemistry is expensive and yeah. And I also have some other stuff planned. And um, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe. And um, that's it. Bye.